Hi, Marco here. How do you run your own build agents locally on any server you want and connect them to your TeamCity cloud instance or your on-premise TeamCity server? Let's find out. First of all, when you're logged into TeamCity, go to the Agents tab and make sure you're here on the Overview page. You'll find a button called Install Agent, where essentially you have a couple of choices, like downloading a Windows installer, a Docker image, and I'm gonna go with the full zip file distribution, which works on any machine. So I'm just gonna download that. It's gonna take a while. It's a build agent wrapped up into a zip file and it has no configuration, which means we also need to configure it, at least, you know, to tell it what is a TeamCity Cloud server name and also an authentication token that lets me connect to the server. Now for that, Click the button again, go to use authentication token, download config. Give your agent a name, so Marco's local Windows agent, for example. Click generate and download, and you will get a properties file, which basically includes what I just mentioned, the server URL, an authorization token, the valid one, a couple of other default settings. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna just go to the build agent, and extract the zip file and move into the build agent directory. Inside you'll find a bin folder. Now it's dependent on your operating system, but in my case, I'm just gonna go agent bat. You'll see that you need to supply either start, stop, or stop force. I'm just gonna start a build agent now. It's going to take a couple of seconds or maybe up to a minute for the agent to fully boot up. And meanwhile, I can go back to my um, Team City server. I can already see there is Marco's local Windows agent and it just connected. A couple of seconds ago, it's authorized, it's enabled, it can run builds and you'll find, you know, the parameters, Windows 10 operating system, the CPU rank and whatever, and you can use it to run your builds. And that's how easy it is to connect your own local agents to your TeamCity server. That's about it. Bye.